Okay, so now, once we establish control of him, we take away the arms, we get into that position, like I call it the Iron Maiden, once I, once I have him in that whole position with his wrist trapped, my legs trapping his other arm, and then I have one arm free to attack. Once I go for that rear naked choke on him, if it gets shut down, I'm gonna go to a certain, these exact moves as far as follow-up submissions. And I want them in that order. And the reason that we do it in this order is because I'm containing him within the system the whole time. So this next move is gonna be a bow and arrow choke, but it's gonna be holding the wrist. I'm not going down to the leg. I'm not gonna reach for the other collar. I'm controlling the wrist because that's, that's gonna keep control of him the whole time and keep him in the system. So now, again, we're right here. And try to get as many reps of this, this hand fight as possible. Right when you get here, immediately peel, punch, pass, okay? Intercept this other arm. Now I have this um, control of both arms here. I'm gonna kick my leg over, stomp out the elbow, two on one, push down, choke up. But this time, I'm not getting under the neck. And honestly, this is the one, especially in the gi, I get the most right here. So I'm gonna dig out this collar. And when you guys get this collar, make sure you never just grab it straight on. Anytime I do a collar choke from the back, I need to make sure this collar is flipped. So if you're on the back, even in not this position, always flip and feed that collar. And then once you can get that action down, now what we'll do, do it with one hand. Just flip it and bury the, the blade of your wrist in there. All right, so now I have control of them. One thing I'm doing is grabbing this wrist. I'm not holding here. I transition up and I put my two fingers right on the inside of his pinky bone to lock his wrist out. And that just keeps control of the, the way his arm can move. It only can only move in this direction now. And that'll be useful later on. So now once I get this, this collar, all I'm gonna do is finish the bow and arrow choke by casting my wrist, pulling my elbow to my hip, pulling down his shoulder with my right leg to make him fall into my lap here and finishing. So I'll pull him in this direction, get the tap. If you guys want from here, and you guys get this sealed in, now I can kind of choke up on his shoulder and finish. <coughs> so again, I'll leave it down. Adjust, make sure that adjustment is there so that you can get your leg over. Peel, punch, pass, intercept, stomp out the elbow. Two on one, choke, push down, choke up, it's not working, dig, and get that collar. Now from here, I'll fight, I'll get the wrist right here, two, two fingers on the pinky bone, finishing to trap. <laughs>